So scorecards and dashboards are different things. Simply put, scorecards overlay strategy on top of the data that you're provided. A dashboard, your car dashboard, doesn't tell you your strategy for being in the car. It doesn't tell you whether you're going to the hospital in a rush or going for a slow scenic drive in the country. You have to bring that to the table. You also have to be a process expert when you take a look at a dashboard because it's not going to explain to you how things work together. Now, let's give you a bit more of a specific definition, which is what we'll be using for the rest of these emags. If we take a compare and contrast between a scorecard and a dashboard, the dashboard is more about managing tactics, near-term activities in sort of virtual or near real time, whereas strategy is what a scorecard delivers, which may be looking out a further chunk of time. Specifically, both tools are going to aggregate information. They're both going to allow you to monitor what's going on and provide you some level of diagnostics. They both underpin management techniques and provide linkages between different objects. Now, in a dashboard, it's between different operational metrics, and in a scorecard, it's between strategic objectives. But there's other things that scorecards typically bring to the table, things like targets, personal accountabilities or team accountabilities, most importantly, priorities, and finally, the strategy overlay itself. So if we take a look at the data that's available, there's a skew that goes on that looks a bit like this. Dashboards are around providing aggregation, monitoring, diagnostic tools, whereas scorecards are more about describing strategy, priorities, accountabilities, and those sorts of things. Now, this isn't a clear definition, but it's sort of indicative of how it is we want you to think about scorecards in the context of these emacs. If I was to do a left and right, I'd say a scorecard has a longer time frame than a dashboard. Scorecards tend to be cross-functional because I'm looking for strategic issues which inherently are cross-functional, whereas dashboards are looking at the task and scope focus and very narrow. Scorecards look at strategic priorities, whereas dashboards are looking at you know critical process points. Scorecards should have a broad audience, whether they're board members, leadership team, operational managers, customers, etc. Whereas dashboards have a narrow audience, specifically the process experts in that part of the organization. Scorecards are empirical, whereas dashboards need to be specific and transactional. Scorecards tend to use indicators, whereas dashboards use measures. Scorecards are more concerned about the trend than any actual value. Whereas in dashboards, I'm going to look at the value first and then look for the trends. Scorecards, we want clear link to accountabilities, whereas dashboards link to job descriptions. And there's a big difference. And accountability is what a senior manager has. You're accountable for market penetration, for brand loyalty, and so forth. A job description is uh, put the cups on the table, make sure the table's clear, make sure, you know, those are very specific transactional and task level things I can account for with a job description.